Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Italian Summer Collection from Le Monde Gourmand, which is sold at Urban Outfitters. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started. The Le Monde Gourmand Italian Summer Collection launched a few months ago, but it took me a while to get around to picking it up, and I'm glad to finally have a chance to do this review. It looks like it's going to be a fun summer collection with a nice variety of scents. If you're not familiar with Le Monde Gourmand, they're an affordable fragrance brand sold at Urban Outfitters. I've done a couple reviews of their fragrances already, including their Core line and their Valentine's collection this year, and we'll link those in the description box in case you want to check those out. I do enjoy this brand, but keep in mind their projection and longevity is lighter than a lot of other fragrances, which I do think is reasonable for the price. I find I usually get a couple hours of wear, but then I probably want to reapply to strengthen the scent. And back to the summer collection, it has already started to sell out at the Le Monde Gourmand website, but last I checked, it was still available at Urban Outfitters. So if you're interested in anything in the collection, you may want to pick it up soon. The fall collection from Le Monde Gourmand is starting to roll out, and I will be reviewing that once all the pieces have come in. The Italian summer collection features three scents, Limoncello Sorbet, Bellini Fre and La Vie Positano. These are one ounces and they were $18 each at Urban Outfitters. And they come in the standard Le Monde Gourmand glass bottles with the metal cap. Now moving on to the scents, first up is Limoncello Sorbet. And this one has notes of candied lemon peel, whipped creme, and vanilla bean. And this is the one that I was most excited for because it just sounded delicious. And it opens very lemony, and it's a sharp lemon, and it's also very sugary. And I think that the candied lemon peel is really giving it that nice sugary feeling. It kind of smells like a lemon drop, the drink, with a sugar rim, which makes sense since limoncello is a sugary, lemony type of liquor. And as it dries, I get more of that creaminess, and it does smell kind of like whipped cream, as well as a hint of that vanilla. But I definitely would say that this is overwhelmingly a sweet yet tart lemony scent with a hint of creaminess to it. And I do really like lemon scents generally, so I find this one to be really quite nice. I also wanted to compare this with the other lemon scent that I have from Le Monde Gourmand, which is Citron Glacé. And that one has notes of lemon, jasmine, and rock sugar. And Citron Glacé opens with a burst of lemon, but it smells more like a fresh lemon with a hint of greenness and zest to it. And it settles into a soft, lemony floral scent. And the lemon does also have a sugary quality to it, but not as much as in Limoncello Sorbet. So I personally find these two lemon scents to be quite different. Limoncello Sorbet is a very sweet, creamy, tart lemon drop scent, and Citron Glacé is much less sweet and more of a floral with some zesty citrus mixed in. And I have to say that I do prefer Limoncello Sorbet over Citron Glacé, but I do like both of them. And next up is Bellini Fre, and I do apologize for my poor French. And this one has notes of peach, mandarin, fresh linen accord, and sparkling Prosecco. And this one starts off with a lot of peach, and I also instantly get that fresh linen. It takes a little while for the sparkling Prosecco to come in, and it comes across kind of like fizziness, and it's not overly strong. And I do get whiffs of the mandarin here or there, but the peach is by far the dominant fruit note. And this is a very fresh, fruity scent, and I think that it's all right, but I don't typically like peach scents that much, so I didn't expect this to be my favorite going in, but I don't find it unpleasant. I do wish that the mandarin was a little bit stronger, but if you like peach scents, you may want to give this one a try. And I don't have another peach scent from Le Monde Gourmand, so I don't have a comparison for this one. 
And the last scent in this collection is La Vie Positano. And this one has notes of pink sea salt, sugar cane, and cyclamen, which is a species of flowering plant. And this one is really interesting. I thought it was going to be more of a fresh or airy scent because of the salt note, but I was first hit with a wave of sweetness, I'm assuming from the sugar cane. And the sweetness is mixing with a beautiful floral that's kind of like a mixed bouquet. And I'm not really getting the sea salt. Maybe there's a tiny hint of airiness, but this really just comes across as a sweet floral. And it has this creaminess to it that's really lovely. And I'm actually surprised to like this one as much as I do. It, and it, for some reason, it's really reminding me of Zara's Frosted Cream, even though that one smells more like a creamsicle, but it also has this beautiful creaminess to it mixing with a floral, and I'm just kind of getting that same vibe here, even though they're not dupes. And I'm actually thinking I might have to get a backup of this one. That's how much I like it. I originally wanted to compare La Vie Positano with Cell Ocean, which I thought might be similar, but now I'm thinking not so much. Um, Cell Ocean is also a hair and body mist, so that's why the bottle is different. And that one has notes of honeysuckle, muguet, and pink sea salt. And Cell Ocean is very clean and fresh and really does have an ocean air type of feeling. The salt is definitely there, but it's not overly salty because it's contrasted with the sweet honeysuckle. And this is a clean, airy, and fresh floral, and it does evoke the feeling of being on a beach and smelling that salty ocean air. So these two aren't as similar as I originally thought they'd be. La Vie Positano is a beautiful, sweet, creamy, floral bouquet, and Cell Ocean is a fresh, airy scent with a sweet, honeyed floral. I obviously prefer La Vie Positano, but I do like Cell Ocean as well. Overall, I'm really glad that I picked up this collection, even though it was a little bit late. I originally thought that Limoncello Sorbet was going to be my favorite, but La Vie Positano really surprised me, and that's my top pick from this collection. It's just such a beautiful, sweet, creamy floral, and I'm looking forward to wearing it more. And I also do really like Limoncello Sorbet, and think it's a fun, sugary, tart lemon scent. And while it is a decent, fresh, fizzy peach scent, Bellini Fre is, of course, my least favorite, but that's mostly just because I don't tend to reach for peachy scents. So that's it for my review of the Italian Summer Collection from Le Monde Gourmand. I think it's a really nice option if you're looking for affordable fragrances. Let me know what you think about these scents. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.